Hi guys, this is Nada from Tech Testers and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Samsung's brand new M.2 NVMe SSDs, the 970 EVO Plus. Now, this is a successor of a hugely popular 970 EVO SSD that came out only nine months prior to this one. And there's a good reason why they push their product so quickly. For a very long time, 960 EVO and 970 EVO were pretty much dominating this segment. They were unmatched. But recently they started getting some competition, especially from uh, Western Digital Black Drives, the 2018 one, not the 2017, and Corsair's MP510, which is very close in performance and also quite cheaper. So maybe this is the reason that Samsung pushed this upgrade quite sooner than we'd expect. Time to take a look at what the new SSDs have to offer. Samsung made some pretty big claims about these pre-launch, but what's interesting is that the actual memory types and controller don't seem to have changed. Instead, the performance upgrade comes from optimizations only, primarily to the same Phoenix controller used in the 970 EVO. Design-wise, well, they look the same as before, and they've pretty much just added plus to the sticker. But at least it's nice to see the black PCB here again, and as before, they're all single-sided. Looking at the specs, we see expected performance increases across the board. It's worth noting that as with most SSDs, the larger capacity models have stronger specs in terms of speeds and cache. Reliability stats are the same as on the 970 EVO, and we still consider those decent. And the same goes for the five-year warranty period. As before, these SSDs come with Samsung's Magician software. Here you can easily update your firmware, you can benchmark and optimize your performance, Overprovision your drive by reserving some free space for better performance, or secure erase your entire drive if you ever want to get rid of it. Keep in mind that you must install Samsung NVMe driver for optimal performance. So this is the performance where we put these against several dozen SSDs. We'll highlight a few relevant ones for an easier comparison further on. For the most part, we see solid improvements in the typical benchmark suites, some improvements are marginal, like the sequential writes, which are essentially pushing the limits of the PCIe bus as it is. However, in some others, the performance increase is actually huge. In the PCMark 8 benchmark, for example, which is valuable as it combines a bunch of real-world scenarios, we see significant improvements over last generations, with the smaller capacity 970 EVO Plus options outperforming most of the 1TB competitors, and that is really impressive. Now, most of that comes from the 4K block read and write performance. Here, the new EVO Plus models absolutely destroy their predecessors, the direct competitors, as well as the 970 Pros. 4K results are one of the strongest indicators of real-world performance, so this increase is also really impressive. Even more so if you consider that they're essentially using the same technology as before and somehow managing to reaffirm their position as NVMe market leader. However, we do see it comes with a consequence. Using our FLIR camera, we can see parts of the drive going over 90 degrees Celsius when we put extreme workloads on it using IO meter. Even though results show a big performance improvement in database or similar extreme scenarios, I feel these temperatures are not what you want when you stress a drive 24 seven. Of course, during more typical heavy loads like for example, working as a premier scratch disk, the temperatures don't get anywhere near this. So we can easily consider it a solid workstation SSD, just don't consider it a heavy-duty server option. When it comes to price, Samsung promises the same recommended retail price as the 970 EVO drives, which is great. But keep in mind, you can purchase those drives for much less than the recommended price. And it's going to take some time before the Plus models also drop in price. When it comes to performance, the difference is actually quite significant and they're setting a new standard for the high-end consumer-ish SSDs. I just don't understand why they didn't name them the 980 EVO instead of adding the Plus branding, as this Plus branding suggests a much smaller step up than our results show. Now I have to add that uh, Samsung is targeting these SSDs at tech enthusiasts, hardcore gamers and professionals. And I do agree with the first and the last because it's very handy to have a fast NVMe SSD if you have big professional workloads or you do some creative tasks. But for gaming, I personally think you're better off buying a previous generation SSDs like, for example, 860 EVO, 
because if you have to choose between a larger capacity SSD or a slightly faster one for the same price, I think gamers should go for larger capacity. Speaking of, if you're wondering if there's going to be a 2TB version of this, yes it is, in April 2019. Now, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this review. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!